we go. Okay, so the cause is the reason something happens, okay? The effect is the result of what happened, okay? The result of what happened. Okay, so the cause is the reason something happened, and the effect is the result of what happened. Okay, so for example, we're going to look at this picture, which doesn't have color, but it's a picture of a volcano. Okay, so we've got an erupting, let me make sure I spell that right, an erupting volcano shoots out lava okay lava is hot melted rock okay there's my sentence right Mm, let me try. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so we've got an erupting volcano shoots out lava. Okay. Then we've got this is the cause, right? Okay, see some of you telling me that you've learned this before. So in reading, you use a lot of the same strategies and you keep learning about that, okay? So we're reviewing cause and effect and we'll go a little deeper later this week, okay? Now the effect, right? So the volcano shoots out lava, which is hot melted rock, and some of the effects are going to be glass of rock, ash and harmful gases fill the air okay so that's one effect okay next up is another effect is the weather changes Okay, and then another effect is cities and homes are damaged. Okay, so why? Why did all of these things happen? Because an erupting volcano shoots out lava and lava is hot melted rock. So the cause, right, that's what happened. And the effect of that happening are those three things, okay? Cause, effect, okay? Next up, so I see somebody saying in the thing, so for example, the smoky air that we've been having recently, that is the effect, the cause is all the wildfires, right? So very similar, good connection, Zelda. Okay, some signal words, that's really important, okay, signal words. Okay, signal words, things you're going to be looking for, okay. Write those here, some signal words of cause and effect. We've got since, if and then. We've got so, we've got lead to. 
We've got because. We've got therefore. Do to as a result. Okay, so anytime you're doing some reading and you see some of these words, there is likely a chance that those words are leading to cause and effect. Okay, so let's see what our book has to say about that. So on page 52, okay, let's read what they say. Do I have a volunteer who'd like to read just this first paragraph? We'll go through, looking. Hannah, I see your hand. Go for it, Hannah. So you're reading right here. Okay, so read. Yep. A heavy storm hits a large hits and a large tree falls. The storm is the cause or the reason the tree falls. The fallen tree is the effect or what happens as a result of the storm. The connection between these two events is an example of a, of a cause and effect relationship. Under, understanding cause and effect can help you see how a event, how events and ideas Ideas are related. Good. Thank you, Hannah. Okay. So this next paragraph is just like what I said here, right? So it says, writers often use words such as because, if, then, since, so, therefore, and as a result to signal and explain a cause and effect relationship. Okay. So these signal words when you do a lot of your work this week, you're going to be using or seeing words like that, okay? So here is our cartoon, right? Yours is in color, much better than mine, but here's our thing. It says, Henry got a balloon at the party. Henry blew up the balloon. The balloon popped because Henry blew it up to much. Here's a signal word. Because. Okay. On the next page, we're going to talk about that cause and effect. So looking at the cartoon, what was the cause and what was the effect? I want you to take a minute to think about that. What was the cause and what was the effect? So think back to the reason something happened, the result. Think about that. I'll give you a minute to think, and then I'm going to take some volunteers to answer. So what was the cause in the story? What was the effect? Think specifically about this picture that had the signal word. Give you guys a minute. Okay, does somebody want to tell me what they think the cause is? What is the cause? Uh, going through a D tree. What is the cause? Um, that Henry blew up the balloon. 
Okay. But he did something a little more than that. So Henry blew up the balloon, but there was something specific he did with it when he blew it up. What, what did he do? Someone want to add to that for me? Mm, Nayeli? Henry popped the balloon. Why did it pop though? Because he blew it up too much. There we go. So Henry blew up the balloon too much. So that was our cause. Henry blew up the balloon too much. So then somebody tell me what happened. What was the effect? Taylani? Mm, let me try muting and unmuting you again. Uh oh. I don't know. Taylani, it looks like you're typing. If you want to type it to me, I don't know why your sound's not letting me do it. So, Taylani, what? What happened when Henry blew the balloon up too much? What happened to the balloon? I know, I don't know why your sound's not working. Let me see, let me try something on here. Where are you on here, Taylani? There you are. Okay, Tilani, you might have to log out and come back in because it won't let me control your sound right now. Okay, and then you can help me out with another question. Okay, does somebody want to tell me what the effect was? Somebody already said it. Jasnor, what was the effect? Henry blew up the balloon too much. Henry blew up the balloon. Mm hmm And then what happened? It Popped. Yeah, so the effect was the balloon popped. Okay, so Henry blew up the balloon too much, so it popped. Okay, now they want us to practice that retelling skill. So in your own words, how would we rewrite that as a sentence? So it says, write one or two sentences describing what happened. Use words such as because, so, or as a result to show the cause and effect, okay? So thinking about those signal words, we're gonna rewrite it, retell it, what happened, right? So I'm gonna say, Henry put too much air in, oh, went a little off the line there, his balloon. As a result, the balloon So you can write my sentence, you can write your own sentence, okay? Make sure you have this box filled, this box filled, and a sentence or two here.
All right, I still see some people writing, but it looks like a lot of you are done, which is good. Don't put your binder away yet. If you're still writing, go ahead and keep writing. I'm going to give you guys one more minute. Okay. Um, sorry, on my 